assalamu alaikum my name is minahi nadeem and i am from bs biotechnology department today i am here to present an experiment which is the study of kinetic dissolution of magnesium metal in dilute hydrochloric acid in this experiment we will see that how magnesium metal uh, is dissolved in dilute hydrochloric acid so let's start with apparatus uh, Measuring cylinder, stopwatch, six beakers of 25 ml capacity, magnesium ribbon of equal length, and dilute hydrochloric acid. Theory: The chemical reaction of dissolution of magnesium metal in dilute hydrochloric acid is expressed as following. In this reaction, you will see that how magnesium metal reacts with hydrochloric acid and form magnesium chloride plus hydrogen in the form of gas. There is some derivation of this experiment, which is if T is equal to zero, then magnesium will be A and hydrochloric acid will be zero. And if T is equal to T, then magnesium will be A minus X and uh, hydrochloric acid will be B. Uh, there is a formula which is rate is equal to k m g multiplied by h s c l ka square. In now by putting the value of magnesium and uh, hydrochloric acid in this formula, we find an equation which is d x divided by d t is equal to k a minus x b ka square. By rearranging this equation, we will get equation number one which is dx divided by a minus x is equal to k multiplied by dt b ka square. Now, by the integration of equation number one, we will get equation number two minus ln a minus x is equal to k b ka square plus uh, k b ka square t plus c. So, if we put the value of t and x in equation number Two, we will get the value of C, which is minus ln A is equal to C. No, name this equation equation number three. So by putting the value of C in equation number two, we will get equation number four, which is uh, A divided by A minus X is equal to K B K square T. Okay, in this equation, in equation number four, k is constant uh, and a divided by a minus x is also constant so we will get constant is equal to b k square t or by rearranging this equation we will get b k square is equal to 1 over t procedure um, uh, first of all we will measure 50 centimeter cube of uh, one molar hydrochloric acid by using one of the Measuring cylinder, uh, then pour the acid into the 100 centimeter cube conical flask. Then set up the apparatus as you can see in diagram. Then half fill the bowl with water. Then fill the measuring the fill the other measuring cylinder with water and make sure that it stay filled with water when you turn it upside down. Number four. When you are ready, add a 3 cm strip of magnesium ribbon to the flask. Put the bung back into the flask as quickly as you can and start the watch. Record the volume of hydrogen gas given off at suitable intervals, for example, such as uh, 10 seconds, and then continue timing until no more, until no more gas appear to be given off. There is some observations of this experiment. In column number one, you will see volume of hydrochloric acid in B. In column number two, you will see volume of hydrochloric acid in, uh, in ML. And in column number three, you will see volume of hydro half uh, water. And in column number four, you will see the time taken for dissociation of magnesium ribbon in second. So in calculation, we are using a formula, which is one divided by T. By putting the value of uh, time taken for dissoci dissociation of magnesium ribbon in second, 
one by one, we will get answer in time, we will get time in seconds. So by dividing the first value, we will get 0 0.02 into 10, 0 0.2 into 10 key power minus three per second. By dividing the second value, which is 3840, we will get 0 0.002 is into, uh, which is 0 0.2 into 10 key power minus three per second. As a result, when a graph is plotted between p square on y-axis and 1 divided by t on x-axis, then a straight line is obtained passing through margin. This indicates that dissolution of magnesium metal in hydrochloric acid follows second order of kinetics. Thank you.